this. I want to stay and don't, don't y'all, please. Do not come for me in the videos. Like, I only ate two bites of everything, if that. Not even everything. We got right. bags that ain't even open. Exactly. Half of these bags weren't even open. And these were just ones I really wanted to try for right now. These ain't even opened. Um, but I want to thank the people at Freeze Dried Emporium for yeah. sending me us these treats and snacks and I do appreciate it. I really do. And I, I'm I'm asking y'all not to come for me. The skinniest person can, can eat a whole freaking bag of those and nobody say nothing. But when a big person does, you don't need that. I'm just guys, please nice in the comments. Not just to us, but to everybody. Okay? I mean the skinniest person can be you know, suicidal just as much as the big, you know, the big, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to quit raining. <laughs> but I do, these these snacks are great. In your opinion? <laughs> Love, respect, and snacks. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you so much, Emporium. Freeze dried Emporium for the snacks. You know what though, Tammy, so, so three days ago, Tammy uploaded a series of two videos, part one and part two, and then this is a part two. And in part one and part two, this is her and her husband promoting snacks, snacks whilst they are both in rehab, and them having a try of the snacks that were sent to her by a company. Now, because of that, people have called her out saying, why are you snacking? You shouldn't be snacking when you're in rehab, okay? You should be focusing on your main goal, and your goal is not to be snacking. So, with that being said, Tammy then decided to make this video part three, and this is the one where she tells everyone, do not come for me. Because at the end of the day, it's not fair that when a big person snacks, they get told off, but then when a slim person tags, snacks, then, you know, it's okay. As she was talking, I was like, okay, let me, let me see what else you got to say. And then she came up with when a skinny person wants to, wants to suicide and then a big person. And then she completely scrapped that. To be honest, I don't know. I don't even know why she didn't even remove that completely. But I don't know where she was going with that. But this is Tammy and she's not the brightest person in this world. So I'm not really surprised that she was, about, that she was about to come out with a mental health type comparison. But at the same time, of course, you know, being overweight can also be a men health thing. But let's not get it twisted. They, they do come in line together to a certain degree. Um, arguably, you can say people that eat too much are committing a slow suicide, depending on how you want to look at it, right? But here's the thing, though, you know, my take on Tammy Slayton and her husband trying out sweets that had been sent to them by this company. Do I think it's the bad thing? Do I think it's the end of the world? No, I don't. At the end of the day, in life, everybody deserves to have a, le a cheeky little snack here and there. But when it comes to Tammy, Tammy is someone that is notorious of not being able to handle her snacks. So for her to come out and do it, it just doesn't make much sense. And to be honest with you, clearly she got paid to do this. And the issue that I have is that Tammy actually agreed to take on this promotion of this company. Because at the end of the day, just like her family, they are exploiting who she is as a person that is known notoriously for being unhinged with food shall i say so for me personally it's not a matter of how big tammy is it's a matter of who tammy is and that is the problem with her promoting this brand and these snacks and whatnot but to be to be to be quite frank with you though i don't know why her husband is in the background like talking anyway because that guy doesn't look like he's lost any weight since we fa first found out who he was and my biggest fear for tammy is that when she comes out of rehab Hopefully a better person, both physically and mentally. She's going to go back into a world where her family are all filled with just enablers. Now, of course, Chris is on the right path right now. But then again, he did enable her so far in this season anyway. So that is here or there, right? But my biggest fear for her is that she goes back into the world and she's around companies who are going to be sending her time and time again 
who to promote that really and truly she shouldn't really be promoting because these foods are actually triggers for her and she needs to learn to say no to companies that send her food that is a trigger for her you know what i mean and also at the same time hopefully she cannot you know be a part of the family in terms of how they love to or you know be around food all the time and hopefully her husband <laughs> you know i mean he's I'm just hoping their relationship works out and it works out for the best for both of them, both physically and mentally. That's what I can say. That. But right now, to be honest, when I'm looking at his brother right here, and uh, it looks to me as if I don't know if he's going to be any help for her, to be honest with you, if once they both leave the um, the rehab center. Because what I understand, they're meant to be leaving it together and then moving in together too. But if Tammy is further down the line than him, then how is that going to work? Or is he further down the line than her? I don't know. Either way, though, ladies and gentlemen, I just think that um, <laughs> someone needs to start scripting Tammy's words when she's giving these videos of don't come at me. And also, most importantly, I highly recommend that Tammy regrets, I mean, rejects any company that is food oriented in the way that's going to trigger her to take that deal. Because honestly, the one is the money's not worth it. Your health is your health is your wealth. See what I'm saying? Anyway, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. You guys let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section and we'll talk about it. But hey, don't forget to like, subscribe. Of course, peace. Oh.